Okay. Hello, Fifth Year. How are you? Well, today is uh, Tuesday, the 5th of May, and it's sunny and hot. Yes. We are going to check pages 28 and 29 from the exam Maisy Maisa. Yes. Okay. And today I'm going to explain how you have to write a report. Phrase and verse with get. Pages from the class book 46 and 47. Yes, uh, remember to put this, 46 and 47 from the classroom. If I didn't put in the photo, yes, because they took the photo before I put EM and classroom. But you already know that these pages are from the class book, yes. And then page 29 from the uh, exam maximizer, exercise 4, the writing, okay. Exam maximizer, yeah, the writing is from there. So pay attention here, yes, okay, because then in the photo, uh, you will be uh, lost if you don't pay attention to the, the class, okay, to what I am saying, yeah, to what I am saying, yes, okay, let's go very quickly, yes, okay, to the activity book, yes, we are going to check, how are you today, fine, well, I hope you are okay, uh, I will show you, um, The answer there. Can you see it? Okay. So you have freezing, exhausted, deafening, terrifying, starving. Fascinating, terrible, enormous, and boiling. Yes, okay. So let's go to exercise one from page 28. It's already done. Exercise um, one from the grammar. Yes, two. Are you there? First of all, I go to number two. Deafening. Yes, when the tree crashed down in our garden, the noise was deafening. Yes. Uh, number two, starving. Number three, enormous. Number four, terrifying. Number five, freezing. Number six, tiny. Okay? And let's go to the subject and object questions. How do you go? Come on, if we're anything. A ver, vamos a ver. Let's see. Number one, 1A, one 2B, 3B, 4A, 5A, 6B, 7B. Perdón, 6B. 1A, 2B, 3B, 4A, 5A, and 6B. ¿Ok? 1B, exercise 2. 1B, 2D, 3C, 4A, 5F, and 6E. Yes? You don't have excuses. Yes? Uh, there are in a lot of pages. There are a few exercises. Uh, you must concentrate on doing the exercises. Yes, and focus on the things I ask. Okay? Here. And now I want you to put the date on pages uh, 20, 46 and 47. 46 and 47 from the class book. Okay? These pages. 46 and 47. Alright? So we're going to go to the talking. It says... What sort of information could tourists who are visiting a town or area like to know about it? Okay, so whenever uh, you are a tourist, what are the things that you want to know? What are the things you want to, you want to know? Yes, can you tell me? Okay, uh, what about the weather? Yes, the weather. You think about the weather, how how is the weather like in that city, in that place? Okay, what else? Are uh, places of interest, places, places of interest. What else? Prices, prices of what? Of restaurants. Hotels, hostels, 
Yes, okay, and you compare which one is cheaper than the other, which is the cheapest uh, alternative you can get. Okay, what else? Um, the activities you can do, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, museums, yes, museums, okay. Okay, this is according to uh, what you like, yes, okay. Um, what events are you interested in, yes? Are you interested in festivals, yes? Um, what else? Are you interested in visiting museums? Uh, are you interested in art, yes? Are you interested in arts, yes? Or maybe do you like maybe you like uh, matches, football matches, sports? Yes, this is according to what you like. Yes, okay. Or do you like rock festivals? Yes, electronic music, electronic festival. Okay. So whenever you visit a place, I want you to think about it. What things? Yes, you are you are interested in knowing weather, the weather condition. Are the places uh, you will visit, the restaurants, the prices, yes, okay, which is uh, the cheapest way of transport, yes, transport, if you are going to get a taxi, if you are going to get a uh, Uber, I don't know, yes, buses, underground, so the means of transport, yes, uh, you get a map always, okay, so think about it and talk at home, yes, as I talk along here, I want you to talk along at home for three minutes about this question, okay? Is it clear? So we are going to do like this. You must do like this because if you don't do, do like this, when I ask you the video recording, the three minutes video, where, where I evaluate your aura, you are going to be regular, okay? Good. Well, it says, if you were a tourist, could you like to know about these things? Why? Why not? Your English teacher ha has asked you to write a report about exciting activities that tourists can do, yes, while holidays in your area. Choose two or three activities and write a report. Well, this is for talking, yes, because you have the homework, another report that is in the exam maximizer. But we're going to talk about this because this, um, these questions because then you will write other reports yes but um talk about this yes exciting activities that a tourist can do the first time yes they visit formosa well exciting activities well you can go to the river and if the person is I don't know if the person is sporty or not, but if it is a sporty person, a sporty person, uh, he or she can go to the river and do uh, activities in the river, like swimming, what else, canoeing, yes, okay, um, windsurfing, yes, okay, depending on the wind, of course, yes, but river activities, yes, as we got the river, yes, okay, in contact with nature, well, they can go to uh, Waikole, yes, they can see if he or she is interested in nature, you can go to Waikole, you can visit the animals there, you can see the animals there, you can visit the place, see nature, see the different kind of um, uh, trees that, and plants that are there, yes, okay. Um, well, if you like shopping, you can go to, uh, the, if you want to shop, uh, cheap, yes, things, if you want to go to the cheapest thing, maybe you can go to the little market because because all the tourists go to the little market, the Paraguayan little market, yes, and see if you get something interesting, yes, if you are interested in technology, maybe you can get uh, some, uh, the most uh, interesting things as regard electronic um um, stuff, yes, uh, it is cheaper than in other places, but I don't know if the quality uh, of the product is okay. 
if they are original products. So be careful. Yes, what else? Uh, you can visit the church with the cathedral. Yes. Um, you can visit, uh, walk along the riverside. What else? Uh, you can go to the different pubs because nowadays we have a lot of pubs there in the in the Medicine Code Marion Boulevard. Yes, and then I want you to talk, continue talking about this. What activities, yes, you can do? Yes, a person, a tourist that come for the first time do in Formosa. Yes, think about this because I will talk, I will ask you in the next video, yes, in the next three minutes video, yes, you will talk about the things that a tourist can do, yes, if he uh, comes for the first time for the first time to Formosa, okay? Well, uh, I want you to do exercise three, yes? Exercise four and exercise five, yes, and six. Three, four, five, and six, yes, okay? Do this, and I'm going to dictate you the answer, yes? Okay, remember that, now you must pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answer, yes? Okay, I always say this, but uh, for you to get used to uh, the way we work, okay? Pause the video, then listen to the answers, okay? While you are doing, I am looking for the key. The aim of this report, then we are going to go to the report explanation, but I want you to warm up first, yes? And then I will explain our report. The aim of this report is to, to string sports, motor racing events, ghost work, conclusion. Three, spectators are also welcome to, in order not to be disappointed, it, it is a good idea, you will laugh, blah, blah, blah. Four, if you enjoy taking a risk, when you, uh, then you will love it. You will love what they can offer you. It is a good idea to book ahead as these activities are often popular. And think about when we were talking about um, the things the person, the tourist can do. Think about the popular activities uh, people do here and, must, uh, and you must teach or show the tourist when he or she comes because they are interested in our um, culture, in our costumes, in our um, in the activities we do every day. Yes, okay. Uh, number five. Which alternatives will you not find in a report and why? Atención. Dear sir, use for informal letter, no a report. Acuérdate que dear no vas a encontrar. Two. Um, I, absolute, I absolutely love, do not give your personal opinion in a report. Acordate, ya tenés un tip ahí. En un report no se mete opinión personal. Yes? No personal opinion. Are you looking for somewhere um, unusual to visit? Direct questions are not suitable in a report. Yes? Las preguntas directas, not suitable. Yes? You really ought to book in advance. It is better to use the passive. Yes, okay. Usamos la voz pasiva. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Well, um... Finally, I must say, do not use the first person. No usamos la, la primera persona. Yes, okay. Well, um, well, and here in exercise six, hacelo para cuando te toque hacer el three minutes video. Uh, introduction, que vas a poner en la introducción, en la introduction, activity, dice, um, complete the grid about a report on exciting activities a tourist could do in your area. What well, we have already talked before. Introduction, well, activity one, activity two, activity three, and the conclusion. 
Yes, okay? Well, then you have a seven. Okay, let's go to exercise one from page 47. Exercise one, two, three, and four, okay? Are you there? Okay, one, two, three, and four. I will dictate the answer. Now is the time that you have to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Number one, was, you have to complete, you see, the past, past continuous or past perfect. Acordate cuando vas a usar el past perfect. Cuando vas a combinar uno con otro, yes? I was drinking mate when my mother appeared, yes? Before I had finished my lunch, I cleaned my teeth. Or after I had finished my lunch, I cleaned my teeth, yes? Okay, good. Uh, pay attention. Number one, was. Number two, decided. Number three, had waited. Number four, stopped. Number five, understood. Number six, planned, was planning. Both possibilities are okay. Seven, needed. Eight, was sleeping. Nine, did or was doing. Both possibilities are okay. Ten, were driving. Eleven, fell. Twelve, went. Thirteen, got out. Fourteen, found. Fifteen, was. Sixteen, hadn't even woken up. Hadn't even, I even, even woken up. Number two. Complete the sentences with the correct form of phrasal verbs, ¿ok? Atención, acá para ahora, para, no hagas ese ejercicio. Y quiero que tengas sheet of paper, los pedacitos de papel, ¿yes? Como este, o más grande, pedacitos de cartulina. Y presta atención, acordate, get over, get over. Quiero que te lo escribas así. Get over, get over, recover. Will you come to the classes again when you get over, when you recover from that illness? Okay. Get away. Don't get away from me. I love you. Escape. Yes, get away. That couple get away, got away. Last week, escape. Acordate que te tiene que quedar esto hecho en un post-it, yes? Ok, Nazarena no está, así que compre en el post-it, yes? Uh, turn, turn uh, into. Decía acá a uh, phrase and verb with get. Eso me clarito, en realidad, eh? Turn into. Yes, turn into, become, become, repasatelos, turn into, become. Will you turn into a flower when you die? Yes, okay. Okay, turn into, walk out. Walk out, calculate. Yes, okay, walk out. Look forward, yes. I look forward to seeing you. I can't wait, yes. Yes, okay. I can't, can't wait, the bomb, see. Can't wait, yes. Okay, and set off, leave, yes. Set off, leave. They set off. I'm going to leave to India. Yes, so you have get over, recover, get away, escape, turn into, become, work, out, cal calculate, look forward, can wait, and set off, leave. I want you to write examples, your own example. First of all, on a sheet of paper, on a piece of paper, you write the meaning. Yes, and put unit, blah, blah, blah. Yes? Okay, unit four. Okay? And then I want you to write your own examples as the teachers say. I will get over in a few days. Yes? I uh, will get away with my boyfriend because we love each other. Yes? Okay. 
uh, turn into I will turn into um, a princess tonight at 12 yes okay look forward I'm looking forward to seeing you yes I'm looking forward to seeing you acordate como va después del to yes uh, can you work out these exercises I can't okay set off Yes, I will set off tonight. Yes, okay? Listo. Ahora sí, complete number two. Now, yes, you are ready to complete number two. Yes? Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answer. Okay, number two. One, get over. Yes? I took, it took me three weeks to get over the illness. Yes? Okay, number two, getting away. They stop him from getting away. Yes, okay. I think nobody, nobody will stop me from getting away my home. Yes, okay. Uh, getting away home. Yes, okay. Turn into three. This sofa can turn into a bed. Yes, okay. Work, number two, number four, work. Yes, work out. Mm -hmm. Number five. I want to get this say I used a road planner to a root planner. Yes, to work out the fastest. Es resolver. No siempre un ejercicio, pero resolver algo. En este caso, resolver eso, ese problema. Yes, okay. Uh, number five. I'm looking forward. And uh, number six. We need to set off early. Yeah. What time will we set off tomorrow? Because I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, we will set off uh, at six in the morning. Oh, it's very early. Okay, number three. One C, two B, three B, four A. As soon as I arrive, he went away. He didn't want to see me. I'm sure. Yes. 5B. 5B. And 6C. Acordate after and before para introducir past perfect. Number four. Read the story and write the question for the answer in brackets. Yes. Okay. Well. Number one. Who? Acá. Fíjate las preguntas que te enseñé siempre. ¿eh? Cuando va al who más el verbo. WH auxiliar sujeto y verbo. Okay, who took her, acá van las object questions y las subject questions, atención, eh. Who took her phone? Two, what did Amanda do? Three, who answered? Who answered? Four, what did Amanda ask for? Who did Amanda tell? Who did Amanda tell? She told the police. What happened to Amanda and Rory? What happened to Amanda and Rory? Si te fue mal, si te fue mal, repasate las subject question y las object question. Who did you talk to? I talked to Amanda. Who talked? Who opened the door? Yes. I opened the door. Si tenés un sujeto, un object, yes, okay. La clase pasada expliqué eso, así que te pones el vídeo de la clase pasada y te revisas a las pages, um, pages 44, page 44, object questions and uh, subject questions, yes, ok, last class, play the video and rewind it, yes, and play it again, and see it again, I'm sorry, ok, well, uh, we have finished 46 and 47 and I want you to go very quickly to uh, page 167 and you have the report congratulations because you have arrived to a report yes okay articles and reports are sometimes very difficult to organize but remember you need to do the brainstorming whenever you do the brainstorming you are going to be okay Yes, because it will help you to organize your ideas. You already know how to do a brainstorming. Do it. Don't cheat. Yes. 
Because if you don't, if you have problems when organizing your ideas, it's better if you do a report. Those who can't do the report are the people who um, uh, don't have problems when organizing organizing ideas. But the one who yes, who have problem, yes, problems, it's better to do a brainstorming. Bye bye, April. Hello, May. Yes, we forgot to say that. Okay, well, reports. Yes, okay, you have uh, that on page um, 167. Whenever you have a report, whenever you write a report, here you are asked to, um, the school, your school sent you and some other students to take a summer course at a language school in the UK Ya saben todas las que componen el UK, yes, ok. El Reino Unido, England, Wales, Scotland, eh, England, Gales, uh, North, no, Norte, Irlanda del Norte, Gales, ok. No se equivoquen porque a veces decimos Inglaterra, no. El Reino Unido and, yes, what you have in the Reino Unido, yes, ok. Is it clear? Irlanda, del Norte, Gales, yes, ok, uh, England, todo eso que siempre la teacher te, eh, te nombra, eh. Ok, your teacher has uh, now asked you to write a report on the course, including your comments on the lesson, accommodation, school facilities and the social program. Yes, siempre hay un social program cuando tenés esta, estas clases de, de courses, immersion courses. Yes, ok. First of all, vieron que tienen el ejemplo. First of all, you have to give a title to your report. Report on summer, on summer course at Edwards Language School. Yes, title. So the title is very important. Yes, state the purpose and the aim of the report and try to rephrase the wording of the task. The aim of this report is to comment on the course at Edward Language School in the UK this summer. O sea, que tenés que hacer un rephrase de lo que pusiste en el título. Yes? Okay. The aim. So, you have a title, you write about the aim of your report, then the course, accommodation, school facilities, social program, conclusion, yes, okay? So you have to use formal language. Atención, subrayate bien eso, por favor. Uh, title, purpose, formal language. Use subheadings to make it clear for the reading. Y los subtítulos, ¿yes? Subtítulos son súper importantes para hacer esto más claro para el lector. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Subtítulos. The course, accommodation, feel, um, social, uh, school facilities, social program and conclusion. Subtitles. Podemos usar subtítulos. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Uh, refer to numbers of amounts. ¿Yes? Acá puedes nombrar... Uh, amounts, cantidades, números, yes, okay, uh, all the host families were kind and the rooms we, we, we were, and the rooms we had were comfortable, the families were close to the school so we could walk there every day, yes, okay, um, school facilities, seven classroom, yes, there is a computer, it, has all, it also has a good cafeteria, yes, with reasonable prices, yes, social program. And you have to say, the school organized interesting evenings, you could go to different events. Uh, there was a day, uh, the, we went to a day trip to London or any place. And then the conclusion. To sum up, I must say that it was a very successful stay which was enjoyable by everyone. Our English has improved. Yes, and what advantages you find found there? 
improved considerable, considerably, and I would recommend it because it is amazing. It is an amazing uh, place, or oh, it was an amazing course uh, for future students. Okay. Finish the conclusion with a recommendation. I would recommend this place because it is plenty of facilities, because the people was very kind, yes, okay? 150 words, yes? 150 words. El siguiente. Y el siguiente es de la página from page 29. And exercise four, yes, it says, your teacher has asked, has asked you to write a report for few students on safety and security at the swimming pool in your college. You should explain safety and accident, accident procedures and give advice on how to protect personal property. Do you understand what is it about? So you are going to organize your ideas. It says, students, safety and security at the swimming pool classes in your college. Yes? Remember to use headings, subheadings, subtítulos. You should explain safety and accident procedure and give advice on how to protect, protect personal property. Entonces, atención. Yes, pay attention. Remember uh, to use uh, formal language. Remember to finish with a recommendation, yes? But first of all, uh, safety, safety and security. Safety and security uh, at the swimming pool. Job of the pool, eh? Swimming pool, the college. Vas a encerrar esto así y vas a proceder a hacer el brainstorming. ¿Qué subtítulos vas a tener? What subtitles vas a tener? Acuérdate que tenemos que dar advice también, ¿eh? And, eh on how to protect personal property. ¿Ok? ¿Qué vas a poner en el primero? Safety and, se safety and security at the swimming pool. Ok, ¿qué vas a poner acá? Do you understand? Yes? Okay. Um, what, should, what you should take, things you should take into account. Things to take. Acuérdate que vos lo vas a organizar como quieras, son ejemplos. Things to take into account when you are, when you are, in the swimming pool. Yes? Otra. Safety. Yes, procedures. Oops. Yes, no quiero borrar eso, por eso estoy usando esta parte. Yes? Ok, safety procedures, yes. O acá le puedes poner uh, things you should, uh, steps you should follow to be secure, yes. Don't run, run uh, when you are wet, yes, ok. Don't jump, yes, if you, do, you, don't jump to the deepest part if you don't know how to swim, yes. Um... Be sure that the trainer is uh, around you if you don't know how to swim. All the things you must, you must take into account, yes? Okay, things to take into account when you are in the swimming pool, safety procedures. Um, take care of your things, yes? Okay, or look after your personal property, ok, entonces ahí tendrías los subheadings, yes, vos lo vas a, you are going to organize as you want, yes, yeah? and then, conclusion, 
Yes? If you go to the classes, I recommend, yes, you should look after your personal belongings. Yes? Your personal property. Yes? Okay, properties. Yes? Um, you should see if the teacher or the trainer is there. Yes, is looking at you when you don't know how to swim. Yes, okay. You should, I recommend not to run. Yes, when you are wet. Don't jump. Yes, in the deepest part of the swimming pool. Yes, and everything. All the things you must take into account when you um, go to your swimming classes. Yes, okay. Things that you know tends to happen, tend to happen when, as, regard, uh, as regards uh, the classes there. Yes, okay? Organize your ideas with the brainstorming. Use formal style. Use subheadings. Yes, okay? Um, what else? Formal style. Uh, connectors. Yes, connectors are very, very important. Yes, and you have all the connectors there. Yes, starting. Remember to uh, say the aim of this report is to um, um, the aim of this report is to explain. Voy a usar otra, pero no es la que quería usar. It's to explain uh, or to. Um, Well, it's to explain, yes, or to show, yes, uh, how, or it's to explain the uh, things you must take into account when uh, you are in the classes, uh, in the swimming classes at the pool, yes. Uh, it's to take into account when you are in the classes, in the swimming pool, the safety procedures and the things you must take into account when uh, you to look after your personal properties, for example. Yes, okay. Ahora te siempre poner the aim. Yes, the goal. The goal. Yes, donde va? The aim. Yes, okay. Por qué escribís? El por qué de este? The aim. This report is intended to give. Yes, conclusion. To sum up, I must say I was. Uh, it was felt that. In conclusion, I would like to say that, to conclude, generally speaking, I would recommend, it seems that, okay? And you finish your report, yes, okay? Um, well, I want you to uh, follow the steps, yes? Yes, okay, wait a minute. Ah, ahí está. Make aware, yes, ok, make aware, quería decir concientizar y no me salía la palabra, yes, ok, entonces para concientizar a un grupo de gente, to make aware a, a group of people that, a group of students that go swimming at the college, yes, ok, so, organize your thing like this, your text like this, yes, organize your ideas and then write the text, remember, Foto, PDF, no cualquier cosa, porque si no te voy a devolver, porque no te lo puedo corregir, no impacta las correcciones con los tools que yo uso. Ok? Bye bye, he's here. See you next class. Stay at home.